Today's devotion from Charles Spurgeon is entitled, After This Manner, Pray. The scripture comes from Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, which reads, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This prayer begins where all true prayer must commence with the spirit of adoption, our Father. There is no acceptable prayer until we can say, I will arise and go unto my Father. This childlike spirit soon perceives the grandeur of the Father in heaven and ascends to devout adoration, hallowed be thy name. The child lisping, Abba, Father, grows into the cherub, crying, Holy, Holy, Holy. There is but a step from rapturous worship to the glowing missionary spirit, which is a sure outgrowth of filial love and reverent adoration. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Next follows the heartfelt expression of dependence upon God, give us this day our daily bread. Being further illuminated by the Spirit, he discovers that he is not only dependent, but sinful. Hence, he entreats for mercy, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And being pardoned, having the righteousness of Christ imputed, and knowing his acceptance with God, he humbly supplicates for holy perseverance, lead us not into temptation. The man who is really forgiven is eager not to offend again. The possession of justification leads to an eager desire for sanctification. Forgive us our debts. That is justification. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is sanctification in its negative and positive forms. As the result of all this, there follows a triumphant description for praise. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We rejoice that our King reigns in providence and shall reign in grace from the river even to the ends of the earth and his and of his dominion there shall be no end. Thus from a sense of adoption up to fellowship with our reigning Lord this short model of prayer conducts the soul. Lord, teach us thus to pray.